guys, so we were coming down to the lobby to get checked out, and we have some special guests here. We have Jonathan and Janie, who drove all the way over from Milton. How far is it, about 30 minutes? 40. 40 minutes, they drove 40 minutes over here to say hi to us. I'm uh, sorry, who figured out where we were at? Was it you? I watched, I, um, I actually watched when y'all were on the opposite course, uh -huh. and, and I was, was like, that? wait, and then when you pointed at the hotel, I was like, they're in Navarre. He knows, he knows. He tweeted me, he was like, hey, how long are you guys gonna be in Navarre? And I didn't get a chance to respond yet because we were like packing, I'm trying to get the vlog uploaded right now, going up. But he, I'm, I'm sitting here in the lobby and he comes walking in and a and big smile on his face like he knew as soon as he saw us. So thanks so much for watching our videos, guys. And thank you so much for driving over and saying hi. Good morning, club. <laughs> morning, guys. Welcome to day 1567. And today, today is our last day here in Navarre slash northern Florida, north East, Northwest Florida. I can, I know, I know geography. Northwest. It is our last day, and uh, we had to check out our hotel already, but we have lots of time to kill because our flight's not until 6 p.m. Unfortunately, may, the only fail we have in this entire trip, I have to say, is we should have rented a car. We should have had our own car. Uber is fantastic. I love Uber. We use Uber all the time, but there were too many, too many chances, too many opportunities where we needed a car. And right now, we need a car because we need a place to put our luggage. Right now, the luggage is sitting in the hotel office, but we can't go too far because we have to come back here to get our luggage. We'd love to be able to go in the direction of our air, the airport uh, and hang out and do some cool things, but knowing that we have to come back here to get our luggage kind of messes that up. So, so instead, we're gonna go on a little walkabout and uh, check out some of the local attractions nearby. All right, our first destination is the Panhandle Butterfly House. It smells nice, all pretty flowers, huh? Yeah. I'm doing this because it's hot on my neck. <laughs> wow, look at all the pretty flowers, guys. Giant swallowtail, Myers lemon tree. Please do not pick the lemons. Wow, look at all the butterflies. Wait, is the number how much there's left? No, the number is so you can tell you what the name it is. Those are the real butterflies. Oh, look how pretty those are. The green. These are real butterflies. Look at these. These are so beautiful. Look, that one's actually reflecting. It's like iridescent. Look at that. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. All different shapes and sizes. Isn't that crazy? How, look, at, look at that one. It's like neon. I've never seen these big butterflies. How big these are, Bryce? Isn't that crazy? Look, it's the size of my hand. It says your hand. Put your hand on there. Yeah, look, it's the size of your hand. Crazy. And these, are, these are real pretty. They're tiny. Look how tiny they are. You can see through their wings. These ones are completely clear. Completely clear, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Right through it. So pretty. Which one's your favorite? Um, I like all of these. These blue ones. Yeah. Like especially these. Yeah, I think. And these are from um, American tropics. These butterflies from America. These are from Africa. These are from Africa. And that's actually a moth. She says right there. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's a moth, not a butterfly. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. What does the number mean? It is, so you can see the number up here, so you know what the name of it is. Check it out, you guys. This is amazing. Yeah. Be careful where you step. Yeah, you gotta be careful on the ground. So let's see if you feel the humidity. Like this is what it'd be like in Scottsdale, but if I weren't land. It's climate control. But these are all native. Yeah, but these are all native butterflies, she said. These are all from Florida. Right there, Bryce, look. Look, right in front of you. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's right in front of you. It's getting pollen. In class, one time I learned that if, so if butterflies are walking on the floor, that means they taste the floor because they taste stuff with their feet. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Their tongues like on their feet? Yeah. Oh. It's like flat, huh? Okay, yeah, No, his wing is teared. Uh oh. Torn. Torn. It's cool, Sierra. You like this stuff, huh? She said that they like the heat, so on a cloudy or rainy day, they don't really fly. Oh, interesting. And that's why you have to watch for the step in, they'll step on the warm bricks. Gotcha. Yeah, that one's cool. The smaller, I like this, I like this area. The smaller they are, 
the um, faster they fuck it. Woo! <laughs> There's one here and there's two in here. It's a caterpillar? Yeah. Oh, it's weird. Oh, yeah. It's crawling. Look at that Oh, check it out. She's like hatching right now. It's a cocoon. Oh, that's cool. Of a hundred eggs, about one night. See the little white thing? Oh, Daddy, you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. She's, oh, oh! There's a butterfly on the camera. Oh. She's laying eggs. She just laid a butterfly egg. Right there, guys. You just witnessed Mother Nature firsthand. Isn't that crazy? They're laying eggs. Does it feel weird when they land on your hand? No. Does it tickle? You don't barely feel anything. It's right here on the water, isn't that nice? Yeah, of course. I, like, I love I, like, I love seeing gardens like this. Yeah, I like in there like it was very small, but I like how like I like the look of like gardens that have a lot of plants and flowers, and then they have like lily uh, ponds with lily pads and frogs. Life goals, our next house to have a garden like that with a, with a pond with lily pads, right? And fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we gonna get called? The... Are we gonna Koi? Get Buy him. So just a short walk from the butterfly house is Navarre Beach Park. And it's very nice. It's got two different playgrounds, one big, one small. It's got swings right off the off the bay here. And there's actually a pier to walk off. We're gonna walk down the pier. And uh, I guess on Thursday nights they have free concerts here. We missed it last night. We saw, we drove by it with our taxi and we saw it, but we just didn't, uh, we were too hungry. We were like, let's go get dinner. And by the time we were done with dinner, it was already over. But nice little park here. And it's right by the water. This is so nice. So that's all Navarre down there. You can see all the condos and the bridge we walked across on the first day. There's one just floating in the water. Yeah, we found a bunch of turtles all down there on sunbathing. They're, they're, they're cold blooded, so they gotta get in, the, in the, uh, the sun to warm up. See that one? He's just peeking his head out in the water. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right down there. And there's another one on the beach right there, too. Kind of a bigger one. Oh, yeah. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> He's like on his belly, it's like stretching out. Whoop, I'm good. I'm good. Gosh, you found the whole family. Look at them. There's tons of them. Look, they're looking for food. Look at them. They're like ducks. They're like ducks. Like, feed us. Feed us. Oh, look, there's a big one. Look at the big one. People, people must feed them. Look at the size of that one. He's a weird looking one. He's like lighter than all the rest of them. Yeah. And they're in the water, they feel safe. I don't know. So many of them. Look at them. Hey, that's probably how they blend in. Yeah. That that kind of looks like a rock. It does. Yeah. All right, it's lunchtime, kids. We're here at East River Smokehouse Barbecue. Look at the place. It looks really awesome. It's all weather tempered and everything. I heard this place has a really awesome deck in the back, a place to sit and watch the watch the water. There's like dolphins that pop over once in a while. And this is our lunch view, right on the water. Isn't that nice, kids? Bryce is Bryce just got introduced to Apple Music, so he's excited because he's, he's downloading his music for the first time. I'm trying to listen to like what kind of. Songs I know, they I know. Are. I'm just saying, you got introduced to it for the first time. You're loving it. I signed us up for the uh, the Apple Music family plan, so now all four of us can listen to our own music, download it, listen to whatever we want. And Sierra's been doing it for about a month or so. And Bryce just got introduced to it because I finally set up his account, so he's all excited. I can listen to my own music. I can download it for the airplane. Oh, <gasps> five dollars. Pay the pay the lady. <laughs> this is uh, Tommy's Snowballs, famous here in Navarre, right on the street corner. Snow cones, snowballs, you can buy Chloe's. Look at that, like stingray, shark, crab, whale. Alright, so we made our way back to Pensacola Airport. We're a few hours early, I think our flight's like in three hours. Two and a half hours, something like that. So we're gonna get through security, get through the checkpoints, get to a, a roughly the area of our boarding, and then just kind of chill, charge our devices, download some movies. I'm gonna catch up on some email, and some work, and, uh, and no stress, guys. No stress. That's the way you end a vacation with zero stress. How was your nap, dude? Good. Good. <laughs> your face got marks on it from the windshield. <laughs> How's your music? Digging it? 
Yeah, you get some better headphones now. Charlotte, but we got a rain delay. The plane's been sitting out there for 45 minutes, it's pouring rain, and now our flight's been delayed by about 20 or 30 minutes, as they said. Well, we'll see. It says 15 minutes, but we'll see how long it's gonna take. I like your new hat, it looks good. <laughs> Did you get one of those too? Yeah. Zebra? Yeah, I just got gray. In case, in case you fall asleep. I'm gonna use it. Mommy's gonna use it, I think. She's gonna steal it. It's memory foam. You have the memory foam one? Yeah. Oh, you paid the extra money, huh? There's normal, which it's like round. Uh -huh. It's not like squared like this. Uh -huh. And it's just a normal foam. It is washable though because it's quite like roll That's good. That's weird. This so you can watch this. That's Owen. He came and said hi. He's 12 years old from Denver. Hi, Owen. Thanks for saying hi. All right, we made it into our plane last flight. We got four and a half hours to go. We're gonna arrive back in Phoenix at midnight. It's gonna be late. Talking to an airplane, huh? Yeah. Now we just see some lasers. I realize why. We're sitting. I can mess in there now. I'm on the flight. So Bryce mommy, yeah, Bryce is over there. They're over ah. there, and then there's a row here, and then there's me, which I'm in the middle of two random people. And then there's daddy down there. Well guys, we finally made it back home. Four and a half, almost five hours. Our flight was delayed. Got on the tarmac, it took a while to get back, but it feels good to be back, huh? Yeah. We're not actually at home yet. We're at me and Papa's house because it's, 2 a.m. <laughs> and we have to get the dog, and so we figured we'll just crash here and sit sleep here, and, and and then we'll go home tomorrow. But um, you and Papa know that we're here, right? Yeah, of course. But man, I, I don't know about wall. you guys, but I had a blast in Santa Rosa County. Mm -hmm. That was that amazing. Yeah. I mean, there really is something to do for everyone, and yeah. I I definitely see us going back because we still didn't do everything. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, next we didn't time, like do snorkeling, paddle boarding, or canoe. Or kayaking. Uh, kayaking. Or kayaking. Jet skiing. Jet skiing. Ziplining. Ziplining. We didn't zip lining. Or snorkeling. We didn't scuba diving. Snorkeling. Scuba diving. Yeah, scuba diving. Yeah, there's there's, there's just there's so much to do. do. We didn't have enough time to do it all. So we only did canoeing and the uh, jungle gym thing. Yeah, the obstacle course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Navarre Beach was awesome, right? Yeah. Oh, Warm yeah. waters, white sands. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely have to come back up to come back out and check it out. Finish it. Mm -hmm. Finish it all. Right. Do it all again. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed those videos. Vlog on.